Excuse me, what did you say your name was? What was that? Raffi? Raffi, like Raffi Taffy? Okay, well, um, sir, no, those, yeah, those, those drums are not for punching. That's, yeah, no, you're, you're welcome to stay and, and look around, but, uh, yeah, those are not punching bags, okay? All right, thank you, thank you. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Okay, good, good. Well, um, welcome into my shop. Good to meet you. My name's Maddie. Yeah, what was your name? Nice. Well, it's so good to meet you. Um, have you been here before? Okay. Have you been to any music shops uh, in town or, um, I mean, ever? Nice. Cool. Um, well, what brings you in today? Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. Um, do you have anything in mind or... Okay, um, are, are these for you or are they, are they a gift or? Okay, perfect, perfect. So you want, yeah, okay. Um, oh, oh, okay. Okay, so I just want to be on the same page here, okay? Um, you want a couple smaller things for family, little gifts. Okay, yeah. Um, and then you're also going to be, you're in the market for a guitar. Now, let's just start with the guitar because that's the exciting part, right? Um, with the guitar, let's just start out with the basics here. Um, is that okay? Do you, have, do you have time? Okay, great. So, with the guitar, are we talking, um, are we talking acoustic guitar, are we talking electric, are we talking bass, are we talking banjo, you know, there's, there's a lot of different guitars. Okay, great. Okay, electric, this is good. Have you played guitar before? Are you, yeah, I mean, in my this is just me. In my opinion, I do think that acoustic is a little easier to start with. Um, it doesn't necessarily matter, but um, just from learning chords and progressions and strumming even um, and all of that. And, and, you know, the biggest thing with guitar is getting um, making sure the guitar is a great fit for you, of course. But then it's also training these muscles to do these chords. Right. Um, you'll see, I think. Um, and by the way, we have lessons here. Yeah, we have like group lessons and one on one lessons here, if you're uh, ever interested in that. But, um, you know, a lot of the chords and stuff are, are things that your hand muscles are not used to doing. And I think you'll see uh, if you're trying to take this seriously. Um, yeah, your hand's going to be sore and it's going to be a lot of muscle memory that you need to um yeah, exactly. Um, so that's why I think that an, an acoustic is actually a little easier to start with. But if you have your uh, heart set on an electric guitar, then I think that's great. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I can, of course, you know, as you can see, we have a ton of them. <laughs> so uh, we could definitely do that for you. And, uh, you know, if you see anything that catches your eye, maybe a certain color or a certain style, um, you just let me know because I can absolutely get it off the wall for you and uh, and let you play around with it, okay? Yeah, so, um, okay, so, so electric guitar, we'll get to that, um, and that's for you. Got it, okay, perfect. Um, hmm, so you, you mentioned some smaller instruments. Okay, and these are gifts for family or something? Okay. Um, do, 
you have an age group? Oh, oh. Okay, so like younger, younger kids. Okay, great. Um, hmm. Do you know like exact ages? So like the reason I ask is like I have, I have instruments that one year old could play. Obviously, it's not gonna be reading music or anything, but it's sound sensory stuff, right? Then I have like three to six year old stuff where they can start to comprehend music theory and how to do notes and things. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, okay, so like a second grader. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, so like a second grader and then a little bit younger. The younger one, do they want, um, you know, will it matter? Like if I can just give, find you something small, um, Probably nothing with sharp things, right? Uh, okay. Okay. You know what? Um, I have some ideas for the smaller things. Would you mind if I if I show you a couple things? Okay. Great. So this is gonna be the first thing. Okay. And <laughs> this is kind of a personal opinion, I guess. Um, but when I was in elementary school. Um, I had one of these and I can't remember if it was requirement or just something that the music program wanted me to do. Um, but I do think that this is a, a cool way to start to learn music and how to learn to read music and, and, and all of that in a pretty simplified matter. Oh yeah. So, um, what I was going to show you, and this is going to be for the, the second grader. Okay. Yeah, so this is a, of course it's in the back here, but as you can see, this is a recorder, okay? It's by Yamaha. Um, Yamaha, of course, makes great, uh, great instruments. This is the soprano one, so it's going to be a little bit higher, but um, I think that this is a great starter instrument for someone, especially in second grade, because it's fun. Um, and then it's easy, relatively easy to play. Um, and if they start to get it down, uh, you can of course start to read music with it and everything. So, um, yeah, so I'll show you this. And this is the recorder. Okay. Have you ever played a recorder before? In school, right? Yeah, I mean, it's been a while since I've been in school, so I wasn't sure if if it was a required thing anymore. Yeah, because I think when I was in music in elementary school, everyone got one. So I'm not sure. But um, of course, uh, basically what a recorder is, is this is the mouthpiece, right? So you're going like this, right? And then there's a hole in the back that you're gonna cover with your thumb. So you're kind of like this. Okay, so you're covering it with a thumb. And then you're like this. Right? And you know, I try not to play stuff loud just because there's people here, but um, yeah, so there's, there's what, six, I think? Six, seven, six or seven holes on the front. Um, you know, and a lot of easy songs are like, you know, the classic hot cross buns, right? It's this, 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 this. So, you know, it's it's fairly simple, and especially a lot of if you want to start teaching them how to read music, there's nothing simpler than learning how to read recorder music. So. Yeah, this is this is something I highly suggest. It's just kind of a starter, a starter thing. This one is is plastic, okay? So it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a little bit on the cheaper side, price wise, which is why I, I suggested it because, you know, second graders they're either gonna break something or lose it or, you know, um, unless this person, of course is, is uh, trained to take care of their, their stuff. But, um, 
So yeah, this is this is the Yamaha. You can see the logo there, the Yamaha recorder, um, and yeah, I just think that this is a great beginner uh, instrument, if you will. Yeah, so. Um, and what we'll do is, I mean, unless you're completely sold on this already, um, I'll just kind of put stuff to the side and you can tell me if, oh, okay, well, this is why I have this job. I'm pretty good at it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we got a recorder for you. So I am here to, to help you with this list. So look, cross one off. We got a gift. Um, how you're going to wrap this. That's up to you. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, um, I actually have two. I have two instruments for the younger one. It's gonna kind of be up to you because I think they're both relatively easy to play. Um, yeah. So do you want me to just show you both? Okay, cool. So the next one I'm going to show you is by East Rock. Okay. And, um, you know, I think there's some people in the world that would call this kind of a <laughs> an old person instrument, if you will. Um, because I think just because it's, it's mainly featured in older people music, um, which is, you know, relative because... Um, you know, new music 20 years ago is now old people. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, but I do think I'm seeing a resurgence in sales in these and these coming back. So, just trying to get you out of the curve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is by East Rock, and this is, if I can get open, there we go, is. This is a harmonica, okay? Now, the reason that I'm suggesting this harmonica is because, um, of course, you can learn the harmonica. That's the harmonica, by the way, East Rock. Um, of course, you can learn the harmonica, of course, and you can get really good and be a professional harmonica player. Um, but what, what else you can do with it is also just um, blow air into it and make sounds, cool sounding sounds. And ultimately I think that's what a, a younger kid is going to want. So like, see, like you could totally learn a song and get really good at the, you know what I mean? But to a little kid, you hand this to them and go, yeah, I'm blowing one, and they're going to go, they're going to go, whoa, that's so cool. You know what I mean? So, I think this is a good, I think this is good for that, uh, for that age range, if you will. Yeah, yeah, um. Is the harmonica um, comes with a cleaning cloth, everything you need, and again, you know when you're when you're buying at least for me when you're buying gifts or things for people, you got to think of it sometimes out of the practical thought, right? So like practically, this is actually a pretty advanced. Um, it can be a pretty advanced instrument. And learning songs and becoming very good at it is difficult, but at the end of the day. You're blowing air into it, which anyone can do, um, and you're making cool sounds. So that's uh, one of the reasons I think this would be a great, great um, idea. All right, so the other uh, smaller one for the younger person in your life um, that I have is this. It comes in a cool box. Okay. 
And what this is, is, uh, in my opinion, one of the coolest, most unique um, instruments that there are. Um, easy to play, again, like any other instrument, you can get really good at it, of course, and learn songs and, and everything. But at the end of the day, for a younger person, this is just a unique looking tool that you can make sounds with. Right, so this is we open the box here a mini kalimba. Okay, now a kalimba is really interesting because it, it's basically a a lot of people will call it like a, a finger piano, if you will. Um, and basically, you have seven. Um, is that right? No, eight, sorry. You have eight, um, you have eight notes. And the reason they call it a finger piano is you just do this. Right, so you're just kind of flicking it. So if you hand this to someone though, they're gonna be like, whoa, I, all I have to do is this to make noise? You know what I mean? So, um, and you can, learn very intricate uh, songs with it. Um, and then even more intricate, you can do like two at a time, like. Um, but this is a very high quality mini kalimba. Um, and I just think like a younger kid would just like doing this. You know what I mean? Just making different noises. And if they want to learn a song, amazing. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. And, you know, it's round, non-threatening. I mean, they could even put this in their backpack if they wanted, like, or in their pocket even. Um, you know, like, boom. Um, I think that'd be perfectly fine. Yeah, so, there's eight, so it's... So that is the mini kalimba. So, um, what do you think? What do you think of those? So we had the kalimba, and then we also had the harmonica. Uh, yeah. Hey, I like your style. I really do. Getting both, love it. You're making my job easy as well. Um, okay. Let's let's get to the fun part. We're gonna get you an electric guitar. Now, there's a lot of different shapes, sizes, styles, colors of, of a guitar. Um, did anything catch your eye around? Okay, nothing flashy. Okay, so like, no like neon colors or like one that's like flames or just more classy, classy, classic. Do you want sharp, um, sharp edges, uh, or like a more rounded classic looking classic? Okay. Okay. So classic, nothing flashy. Hmm. Do you have any brands in mind or just, okay. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? I think I have. Yeah, I think I have one exactly for you. Yeah, let me grab it, and I'll be right back, and uh, we'll see what you think, okay? All right, great. Okay, I think that I've found the perfect, I think, um, the perfect electric guitar for you, okay? Not flashy, round, classic, high quality. Yeah, so this...
This is um, an electric guitar by Dean, D-E-A-N. And Dean is a fantastic, fantastic uh, guitar manufacturer, highly regarded. Um, everything is made just super high quality. You have a volume knob here, two volume knobs. And um, this is a classic, uh, just six, six string, okay? Um, classic six string electric guitar. Um, and as you can see, turn it upside down here. You can see nothing too crazy, um, looks wise, you know, um, just a classic round bottom like that, right? Um, but I think this is a great, great guitar. There's some good weight on it. Um, and again, Dean makes fantastic pieces. Each one is great. Um, all of the pieces are high, high quality. Um, this would last you your lifetime. Um, yeah, the neck is a uh, standard, standard length neck. As you can see, these are all super, super high quality. They're not the, um, you know, sometimes on guitars when they're cheaper, these will be hollow. Um, and these are not, these are, these are nice. So, um, yeah, do you want to check it out? So, what, uh, yeah, here, <laughs> um, what do you think about that? Yeah, just pick it up, and, you know, my thing is, with, with guitars, this might seem dumb or purist or whatever, but, um, I kind of see it like, uh, like Harry Potter with, with wands, like, the guitar doesn't necessarily choose you, but I do think that, yeah, no, <laughs> Yeah, no, things aren't gonna like start lighting up and there won't be a, a dramatic light over you and I'm not gonna tell you that you're destined for great things and um <laughs> but but uh I do think that you can feel an energy when you pick the right one. I do. Um I really do. I think that if you pick up the right one, you just go, Oh yeah. This is it. You know what I mean? So um what do you think of it? Yeah, great weight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the neck of that is, is a standard length. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, brand new strings on it. And uh, if you don't like the feel of them, of course, there's different styles of strings. Um, I can certainly string anything up for you that you need. Um, and it should, yeah, should be in tune. Should be good. Yeah, no, take your time. That's, yeah, Dean, um, Dean is one of my favorites for sure. Um, you will see a lot of, uh, a lot of really classic, well, very well known, um, rock stars using Dean. So, right. Um, hold it up real quick. Let me just, oh yeah. Oh yeah. That might be the one you. Listen, I'm not just saying this because I'm work because I work here. It looks great on you, like great. Um, you know the pewter, the pewter gray color is uh, actually not common, to be honest. You know, most people when they think of an electric guitar, they think of like a bright red with the with the white pick plate and, and just like you know super rock and roll. But that that's a more classic. You know, here's what I would say: that guitar. Um, if it was on a stand, which we have, if you need one, is like a piece of art in a room. Like you could have that in your room, um, in any room, and it would look like art. You know what I mean? Like a piece of something decor. Um, so that's nice too. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what do you think? Uh huh. Yeah. Are you done? Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, what do you, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know. You know, this might be. 
It needs to be tuned a little. That's okay. Um, anyway, you can certainly do that if you're interested. What do you think? Yeah? So I'll tell you what. I will give you a deal because you seem really nice. The Dean electric guitar, I can't do much on the price because it's a Dean. But since you seem really nice and I appreciate you spending so much time with me and you're getting the other stuff, um, I will throw in a free carrying case and a stand. That stand we we're talking about. Yeah. Free stand case. A case is like a hundred bucks. Stand is like 40. No problem. We have a deal. <laughs> yeah, no. Take your time, yeah. You want to do it? I mean, this is a life-changing decision for you, so I'm very happy. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so to recap, we're doing the recorder for the second grader. For the younger one, we're doing the kalimba and uh, harmonica. Then we're doing the Dean electric guitar for you. Um, and I'm throwing in a case. And I'm throwing in uh, a stand. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, you can always come back. I mean, you're... Oh, oh, you live close. Oh, well, then come in every day. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, uh, yeah, you, of course, you're more than welcome to come back, um, especially with the guitar. If you have any questions, anything you want to learn, again, we have the lessons here. Whatever you need, uh, we're here, okay? All right. Awesome. Well, let me get all of this together, and uh, I will meet you up front, okay? All right. Hey, you made a great decision today. You really did. Yeah, I appreciate you. I appreciate you coming in. This is great. All right. I'll see you over there.